So I'm excited today to be on the construction site of the new Tennessee State Library and Archives. And today we're in what's called the ASRS, the Automated Storage Retrieval System. And I'm proud to have with me Myers Brown, who is our Director of Archival Collections and Services, to talk a little bit about the significance of this part of the new library that's going to be able to able to hold more than 400,000 volumes and 40,000 books, thanks to the over 8,000 bins we have here. Myers, tell me about the significance of this area. Well, this area is unique. It's unique in the state of Tennessee. It's almost um, unique in the southeastern United States. There's only going to be three other organizations in this region that has a system like this. And what this system does, it uses robotics to actually retrieve the collections and store them in a climate-controlled environment. So climate control is important, so maybe explain to people what the parameters there are, because this will be the first time you've really had a truly climate-controlled building to house all these important items. Yeah, and even though we have some degree of climate control in the old building, it's really not tight enough. So what we need is an environment that keeps the climate um, right around no higher than 70 degrees, preferably lower than that, and around no more than 45% humidity. And what this chamber will do is allow the entire collection to be at that environment consistently. And so let's talk about accessibility. A patron comes to the building, they have something in particular they want. How will they use this fantastic robot to be able to retrieve it? Yeah, um, even patrons who are working remotely, and we want them to come in and use our collections, obviously, but they can actually send in their request ahead of time using the catalog system. The robotic system will get that message and have the collections here and able to retrieve those in about a minute and a half. We still then need to get it down to the public services, but much quicker than what we do now. Well, you and your colleagues have got to be excited about how you're going to be able to serve Tennesseans through things like this. This area, if, if we were to try and lay this out in a different fashion, it would probably be seven times the amount of space it takes because of the ASRS, and we save Tennesseans millions of dollars by laying it out this way. Absolutely. Anything you want to add from that, Myers, about the, the building itself and your excitement about the new building? We're extremely excited. We, um, we all kind of energize ourselves on being able to serve our public and serve them better. And this is an opportunity to do that. Everything from improved parking to quicker access to the collection, but also just the long-term preservation of the collections themselves. Well, Myers, thank you for what you and your colleagues are doing to preserve and make accessible these fantastic Tennessee treasures. This is the first of many of these videos we're going to do to highlight this fantastic new building and what it's going to mean to Tennesseans. 